Voice control. Did you say voice control? Yes. Okay. Attach everything. Did you say attach everything? Yes. Okay. Go forward. Kill the motors. Take this. Did you say? Take this. Yes. Okay. What is it? It's an object. Definition of an object. Anything that is visible or tangible and relatively stable in form. Thank you. Release the allocate. Did you say? Release the allocate. Yes. Okay. Relax. Did you say relax? Yes. Yes. Okay. Attach everything. Did you say attach everything? Yes. Demonstrate your balance. Did you say demonstrate your balance? Yes. Okay. Nice. Yes, indeed. Show you back. You know I don't like to show my back because it is not finished. Not true. It's finished. Oh. Really? Oh, yes, I forgot. Okay, so show it. Did you say? Okay. So some um, of the new things I did is uh, to have a keyboard that can be magnetized directly on the tablet so you just have this if you want to control let us say the robot to go forward or to the side you can use the arrows directly on the keyboard or if you decide to have uh, some controls on the robot with some keystrokes you can do that as well but you can use also the keyboard, um, it's Bluetooth, so you don't have, there's no cables, you just can use it away from the robot. That's very, uh, very handy. Um, I selected a um, uh, tablet, not expensive tablet, it's about uh, 300 euros somehow. So this tablet is um, touchpad, so you can launch it like this with the finger which is handy because you don't have to use the keyboard if you want to just use your tablet manually like this with the touch finger it works as well so uh, the tablet is set up in here and it's uh, there's a locking system that is 3d printed so you just have to push up and then you can remove the tablet unhook the cable over here and then you have access to um, all the cables, to the Nova boards, the Arduinos that are inside the robot. 
This is handy because it makes at, at the same time a cover for the, um, for the back and the computer that controls the whole robot. Then um, I have a, over here a Sennheiser device for the sound and um, you don't need to use this thing but I go to many events where there's a lot of noise like if you go to a maker fair there's so much noise that it's necessary to have a, a thing that catches up the sound pretty well. The tablet in itself can catch up the sound when you talk to the robot and it also can speak directly so you don't need this thing unless you go to places where it's very noisy. So I'm going to remove this. So Here you've got um, an opening so you can have access to the battery and um, so you can remove the battery uh, when it's, it's empty, you just slide it out, remove the cables and that's it. So that's pretty handy as well. This goes back on it. Here you've got some um, switches. I'm using three of these. One, two and three over here. The fourth one is not used yet. So I'm using one because I've added um, a sound card for to amplify the sound of the, the tablet into the um, loudspeakers that are in the ears. And then I have a switch over here that kills all the servos, everything, so everything is powered down. Then I have another switch over here that controls just the motors for the, for the wheels. And um, all these parts are going to be uh, available on, uh, on the website for, to download. And um, it's a little bit more difficult to print. You need to, some of the parts you do need to have uh, support under it because they have a shape that, uh, that don't allow to print directly like most of the parts I designed. This is a bit, uh, a bit more tricky. That's, uh, that's about it for now. Yes, okay. Voice control. Did you say voice control? Yes. Okay. Go forward. <laughs>